Hello, welcome everyone. Um, just gonna do a wee video. Uh, I haven't posted that video yet. Of the uh, showing you what seeds that I, I grew this year, and uh, um, and recommend mending them for uh, growing them next year to anybody. Uh, I will be posting it soon. Yeah, I might upload it tonight actually. Yeah, just been busy trying to get the stuff done. Yeah. And I did the catalogue on it as well, the catalogues that I do. Yeah, most of the catalogues are just the uh, suitings. Yeah, as I say, the uh, summer, spring, and autumn catalogues. Yeah, I don't think they do. I'm not a percent sure they do in the winter, winter, winter one. I think um, I think the autumn one covers are winter one. I'm sure. Uh, I so I've just been busy uh, working away. Uh, I've just been up to the veg pot actually and planted the uh, the winter savoy cabbage. Uh, so they're in. Uh, it's pretty warm here today. It's sun's up, and it's uh, but it's pretty pretty hot today. Boiling. Uh, so I thought I would just uh, sow some overwinter stuff, so, so that it'll, it'll germinate now and then. I can put. Well, I didn't hear a cold frame yet. I do hear an old dinosaur, so I'm going to try and convert into a, a cold frame. Uh, or I'll put them in the greenhouse because yeah, I'm going to about January, maybe the end of January. <laughs> uh, but the end of January, I'm going to I'm going to clean the greenhouse out inside it, and uh, wash it all down with Jay's fluid, and uh, Dettol, give it a spray with Dettol or disinfecting. Yeah, after I've uh, washed it out with Jay's fluid, uh, and then. Give the outside a clean. I'll probably leave the outside in, until near the time of growing season. Um, I'll do that and then uh, I'll do uh, I'll do the, the rest of the plot. I'm going to, once everything's finished, then I'm going to dig it all out and we'll dig the whole plot over and just get compost or something. Uh, or try and get a uh, kill muck and just leave it over the winter. Uh, let the rain wash it in. Uh, obviously, I'll, I'll, I'll put it on, but I'll cover it with the fabric as well, so that will help with the heat uh, to break it down. And uh, then I'm going to build. I've bought the wood for to do the wee, the wee bed at the front. Um, I don't know if I've got any paper to show you exactly what I want to do. Uh, just give me five minutes. I'll just, just tear a bit off this box and I'll show you what I'm actually going to do. Right, uh, I did tear a pencil. There it is. Huh. Pencil doesn't have a head on it. Luckily, I've got a stand it. Shed. Have you see my shed? The shed, a mess. <laughs> uh, I haven't got into cleaning it yet. Well, I've cleaned this yet, but because I'm, um, yeah, I'll tell you in a minute once I get closer to the camera. Hey, what I'm actually doing in my shed. Aye, so my shed is is pretty cluttered the now. Um, <laughs> The reason for it is uh, I'm turning my my old coal house, the old coal house at the side of the house, I'm turning it into a, a, a shelf, putting like a storage room. It's no big. It's probably what? Probably about four, four feet wide by about six feet long by about six feet in height, seven feet in height maybe. 
uh, and I've, I cleared out yesterday, uh, no I cleared out the other day and um, all I was really keeping in it was just my hand tools and the hand tools for the gardening and other hand tools, different hand tools and uh, I was storing my pots and that in it but I want to uh, store them proper so I'm going to put shelves in I'm going to put loads of shelves in and uh, I'm going to put my I never showed you my potatoes uh, the, the seed potatoes that I'm going to be using or going to be selling maybe uh, on the last video there so I'll show you them in this video um, I'm going to put because it is nice and warm in there it, it does it's nice and cool in there even over the winter um, it doesn't get really doesn't really get a uh, any any warm in there, uh, cold in there. I mean, so it will keep the it will keep the um, the nice and cool and nice and uh, usable on the on the uh, when I come to use them. I right, so I see this bit of paper here. I will turn it around to show you. So just this is the veg pot here, right, and then obviously this is the front of it. Now you've got the bricks, the very bricks that, that go along there. And what I'm planning on doing it is I'm gonna make a fit so a fit wide box along the front front of the uh, the veg plot and I'm gonna so it should be something like this, so it should overlap and it should just overhang the uh, the brick. It should be someone just like this. And it will sit into the veg into the actual cell with the veg pot. So if you can see here we have the, the veg pot and then this is obviously where that brick work is. Well that's not where it is, that's brick work maybe that's just where the brick work is here. So it's gonna come and sit just below the brick work. And it's gonna sit the it's gonna sit Practically, it's only going to sit maybe, uh, maybe an inch or something into the into the soil. Uh, which that's that's no problems. Um, it's only an inch in it, uh, so it's not really going to be taking up too much room. Yeah, uh, I did hear. Well, I'm not not hundred percent sure if I want to put it as wide as that. You know, I think it's quite wide. Um, I maybe go for something like maybe six inches or something, or um, something like that. But I'll see when I come to I come to build it. But all that day as well is where the greenhouse is as well. You've got the you've got the, the door, of the greenhouse. I want to bring that front bit of wood that I'm going to put, I'm going to bring it along to where the door, the start of the door so it, that whole piece of wood will come right along to the, the start of where the, the door is and then I'll, I'll build that into a box section as well um, and that will become uh, another wee bit for planting and then I plan on the uh, Build another box and then, and then up the side of the greenhouse. So, uh, we'll see what happens. Um, as I say, I only bought enough wood to actually do the, the front bit. Uh, I've still got sleepers to buy for to set the polytunnel one, and I'm, I'm gonna get buttons. Um, I'm gonna kind of roof buttons it is for putting for doing the roofs. Uh, I'm gonna get a few of them. Um, and then I'm gonna make a cloches at them or or get the blue water pipe and and make just make like six meter loops at them. Um, Just something like that to keep the cabbage fire 
Right, this going what I was actually going to do today. <laughs> and carry the way. So I'm going to sew these cow's tongue. So, so cow's lip, as you want to call them. There are, there are, uh, they're a perennial, so they'll, they'll grow back, they'll die off and grow back. Well, the, the plant will, will, will still be green, but um, they're a part of the. Uh, Oh, I can't mind now. What is that part in now? Uh, I'll get to it when I come to it. And then I'm going to show these. These are the Cosmos. Uh, Cosmos, and that's an M there. And that's a colour, nice white one. And uh, you saw these, um, you saw these August, September. And uh, you could plant them out uh, March, April, and May. Um, or plant indoors. Uh, I'm not going to sow them all. So I don't know why I've got two trays. I've got two trays here. I might just do half and half. Uh, half in them and half there saying that you get says a hundred seeds in there uh, so probably in that bowl maybe so no them uh, next year and uh, maybe sell them sell them I've been picking the dahlia seeds out there I've the dahlias I've been picking the seeds off them I've just been waiting to the actual dry they go dry on the plant and then picking them. Um, it makes it a wee bit harder actually because if the slightest wee knock to them, they just go everywhere. Eh? So you have to kind of grab it and then and then cut it. And then um, you yeah, just put them in a, a, a tray or something and you just pick through them, take the seed out. Uh, to, um, Store them for if, if you're going to grow them next year, yeah, and there's quite a lot of dahlias at the front that I've, I've kept that I planted. So next year when I grow them, I'll not be. I think I will be keeping the seed. So um, I'll, I'll ask if anybody's wanting the pods, seed pods. So yeah, so I let's go on with this and. and Get these done. I didn't even realise I had these till I actually looked through my uh, my box of seeds because I was sorting them out. I was separating the, the, the plants for the veg, and then I came across these two two packets. Right, this going forward tree up. Yeah, I've put the compost aside side because it means sitting in here. This shed, uh, info. Um, it does get pretty warm in the shed actually because it's outside of the shed uh, apart from the, the end and the other end uh, they don't have uh, the felt it's only with the, the sides that have the felt on it so that's a uh, pretty reasonable um, Right, that's going to be what it's going to be. I'll just have to get off the seat. And I'll get the compost. Oh. Got my compost over there. Oh, there's one of my... See these things here, these are for holding your onions up when you plant plant them. And uh a client who that was I was watching on YouTube that was was making made something similar to these. Uh, to, to hold their onions up and it works. It works. You don't have fluffy onions. 
really when you're growing them. I have to do another video on the uh, another video on the veg pot because uh, as I said when uh, I got my new phone uh, somehow it didn't uh, it didn't transfer over so um, once I've I might be able to do it this week actually uh, make a video of the veg pot. Um, just to show you what has been happening up there's not really been much happening up there um, apart from as I see you just a uh, quantity quantity cabbages today um, I won't be doing a video tomorrow because I just want to well, I'm not doing anything tomorrow because I just want to relax and enjoy the day. Um, sort of find that my friend I was using. The problem is, as as my sheds are, I wouldn't say it's a mess. It's just I've I've brought around for that cohus in it. Uh, so I need to kind of go through that and uh, and sort it out uh, and chuck a lot in. So I will be doing a few trips to the today. Tip. Um, once uh, I've established what I do need. Uh, and I can't wait to actually get my bench over here uh, proper get that built uh, and there's going to be a wee bench here as well because uh, I've got if you don't know if you can see it uh, uh, you see this the like plastic drawers that you get like being cured or something um, I've got I've, I've got that one plus the other one broke, so I've got the actual drawers just through stuff, uh, and I'm going to actually build a, a like a, a wee workbench here, not a massive one, because uh, I want to leave obviously I want to leave enough room to to get out, out and in with tools and. Um, Stuff. Uh, I want to keep one more in here and uh, a couple power tools. Uh, I've got loads of wood in that, and I've got a few, uh, a few pins that I need to finish, finish off, um, and get rid of them. Um, I do have, uh, as you see there, it's just a, a bit of a bed that I'm uh, fixing. Well, I've painted it, but I need to. I need to actually uh, give it a light sand and then I paint again and then do the same on the other side of it um, and that's the last bit anyway and then I can get it out of the way and then get my shed back right so I think we'll do the hmm, do we do half and half or should we just should sow half half the seeds in each tray or I didn't want to stick. We got a hundred seeds in here. I don't want to stick a hundred seeds in that wee tiny tray. So I'm only going to do maybe 30, 40 plants or something. Well, I reckon that. Like, I'm going to sit and um, sit and count all these. So uh, it's pretty busy the day outside. That like, everybody's cutting their grass. Um, I stay around the. Uh, 
I stay in the other countryside, so uh, there's a lot of tractors and that go up and down, so. Yeah, there's not even a hundred seeds in this bucket. <laughs> nah, there's definitely no hundred seeds in there. It was probably um, the cosmos that I had, the other yellow one that I, I planted. I picked all the seeds off it and there's probably about 200 or something seeds in there. Um, a lot more than what um, it's saying in here. Yeah, you see, sowing seeds is easy. Um, as I say, you just um, keep your... Uh, and just keep moving as you uh, spin on them. Um, try and if you've got anything that's close together, you just get yourself like a, a pencil or something or a label and use the label to to uh, separate them out of the way and best spread them basically. And that's what I'm going to do. There's not much in there, but um, that's as many as I'm going to do, because yeah, I might just stay out there, there's a few wee spaces. Just try to fill up these spaces a wee bit. Good thing about them with being bigger seeds, you can actually just um, practically just place them where you want them. And then, um, there we go, that's it done. Now do I sow, now do I cover them up with perlite or should I cover them up with compost? Hmm, let's see. Eh, so, blah, blah. Ah, I'm getting about this packet, is it, is it on it? It's got so wet compost or vermiculite um, which is a good thing someday I so I we'll do the vermiculite you have to remember uh, where I put it that's uh, over there I am going to get my cellar a uh, skip um, just because you have to book, you have to actually book, you actually get a place at the skips and um, I'll be probably talking about three or four trips um, to the skips so I'm just going to Get a skip and do it that way. Makes it easier for me. Right, let's get on because we're already at 23 minutes on the on the uh, time up and as I say just a, a little sprinkle to make sure they're covered up well. Uh, next year when I grow well I'll be growing the first thing I'll be growing at the end of maybe end of January or middle of January, it will be my onions. Yeah, actually, no, it will be my well, it will be onions actually. But between onions, garlic, and because uh, I'll be ordering the garlic cloves actually pretty soon. Well, I'll be ordering them a bit, maybe a bit. I think I'll order them the. Uh, Let's just see October the new. This is September, not I. This is September. I'm almost behind. <laughs> I think I'll order them pretty soon. Just give that like, like a little tap. See, I guess when you tap it, it moves everything out of the way. Um, I'm not even going to bother this time. I'm just going to. 
Det var alle, der tog plads, hvis du ikke har sit kontakt med kompost, og det er bare mærkeligt. Det er meget godt. And now that's going to go into the, well, I'm going to obviously water it and then I'll put it upstairs in the grow room and then it could go for there, put to one side. Right, so we'll do the next one um, a bit later, like a label. I'm actually running out of labels. I'll have to go and get some more, order some more. So I uh, kind of mean that company that all the seeds it before I think it was something DR Bruins or something and I've got I've got a load of seeds and I've some plus I've got a bunch of labels for free yeah and we do labels in the, the shops down not down here really but yeah the town they do Shop. It's a cheap shop, like, but they do labels and they're actually pretty good. I don't know what's happening with the birds, like, because I've got a bird feeder there that's got the seed on it, the like, and I've got a, a bird feeder there with the, the fat boys in it and it's not been touched <laughs> you think they would be a uh, monster in that for the other cells ready so a lot of things happening at the winter um, for myself as I say, I'm going to uh, the veg pot's just going to get a, a total hit, uh, and it's just going to get practically done. It's going to get all dug. The whole entire thing's getting dug out, and then it's going to get um, either cue to put on it or. Um, you could use cute, you could use the horse muck there, but then horse mucks you can't use it all the time because it has like a I can't remember what it is, it does to your soil. Like a bacteria or something that come to that so soil or something. Something like that somebody said to me when I came. <laughs> I just uh, the best thing for soil is actual um, llama muck, alpaca llama muck. Uh, that's good for the soil actually because it's, it's rich in nitrogen and, and stuff. Um, I did use that actually last year. Um, I put some, way. it was actually mixed way. It was mixed with um, chicken manure, chicken chicken manure I it was mixed with that in a bag and I left it and the uh, they just all rotted together and I just mixed it up and then I, I just spreaded it about the my wee plot that I had because yeah, I did turn a wee bit my garden into a plot that was it's not massive it was only like was it five feet by five or something so I wasn't able to grow I was, I was, if I wanted to grow something, I'd, I'd have to grow it one year and then what I wanted to grow a gate, something different, I'd have to grow it the next year there. Because like, if I wanted to plant tatties, um, I'd have to grow in one year and then I would hate to miss a year out. And then if I wanted to grow them again, I'd have to grow them the next. Yeah, but the hen, this other veg pot, um, it's actually pretty, pretty good. And, um, I mean, it looks, when you look at it, you think I've no actual, put, I've not put much in it, and I haven't put much in it. And the reason it's because I started that veg pot off pretty, I mean, I got that, that veg pot halfway through the growing season. Again, it was, it was near, well, it was just the start of the growing season when I got it. 
Um, but I didn't do much with it. Uh, I did strum it and that and, and put the fabric here. Okay, I put the fabric over uh, to kill everything that was there, but um, it did work. Okay, it, it, it takes a while to do that way. Like, uh, because you don't want to use weed colour on something that you're going to be planting stuff into and, and eating. Uh, so that's why I didn't use a. Uh, I didn't use um, them. Right, let's get this done. So that's what's going to happen at the happen at the veg pot this year. And what did it say in there? How much seed? Let me see how much seed. Aye, a hundred seeds. Aye, if you could see that, that doesn't look. Oh, oh no, dropped it. <laughs> that should be. Yeah, that's even a hundred seeds. So I'm just gonna lightly put these over. It's like coffee granules. As I say, they all germinate, they all germinate. Um, it's fine with me. Because um, they could just sit in the unis practically over, over the winter. And then. Uh, you can see them all there. Um, I'm still trying to find that book that I said that I had. Uh, that showed you what's best, what's best to actually cover your, your seeds there. Uh, let me just see here. So this is saying here, um, what's it right? So, uh, so fun and seed trays using sewing compost, scatter seeds on the surface and place in a lighted shade position outdoors covered with glass or polyphene uh, to protect them from the rain keep moist transfer seedlings blah 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 um, so it, it didn't say not to put compost there it, but seeing what I'm going to do so I'm just going to take a wee bit of the compost and I'm just going to I'm just going to kind of, I'm not going to go total mad and, and put loads of it, I'm just going to put like a little scar in, kind of just a little, a little scar in, um, You go, that's what I'm going to do. I mean, it looks like I've not covered them much, but um, the thing about seeds like that, you don't need to cover them. It's, um, but we'll come to that when I, I come to make another video. I'll, I'll sh actually show you how to do seeds like that um, and microscopic seeds. But there you go, that's the Cosmos and the Q's lip. Yes, I Q's lip done. And see what I like about these. These packets of seeds. What's that? The the verve. You get a label it. <laughs> so it saves me writing the label out. There we go. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll is I'll take them out of the house and I will uh, gym a uh, soak them. I'll just say uh, I did hear a tree actually out here. For uh, doing that, but I don't know what's happened to it. It's probably been used for someone else. A little habit of doing that, uh, keeping things that I need off for it, and then I use it for someone else. I've actually got a cupboard in there that I used to use for stone seeds and that, in, but um, I used it for putting rubbish in. <laughs> Right guys, that's um, that's uh, them done. 
Um, just show you this potato. So this is a sweet potato here. If you could read that. This is the one I grew um, last year. Was it last year? I grew last year in, in the front garden. And uh, I had some seeds left over. Uh, I always said I didn't need a good all the potatoes, so that's what they're like. They're nice actually, nice for chips. You could probably get away with tatting them for like mash, but you'd have to probably boil them pretty you'd have to boil them uh, slowly or steam them. But they're they're, they're gonna go into the, the coal house. When uh, I get it finished, and they'll stay in there over winter right like, through to uh, time to uh, Germany to uh, get them chitting. And these are, I'm sure these are a second, these are a second early. And um, let me just get the little ones that. Um, These are some more of them, and these are some more of the ones I just showed you, and then these ones are actually the um, Iron Pilot, uh, but there's no, there's only what one, two. Pulling about four or five seeds there, and I found when I was digging over the, the bit for uh, putting the cabbage, the, the winter cabbage, in, I found a few more tatties that I've never dug out. So um, I've got another couple now just to find a place to put these until I show you the other one. Oh, I can't wait to do that. Coal has finished, so I'll do this. Junk. <laughs> this is an old. Well, it was a unit that I was fixing, but I just chucked it because I couldn't be bothered with it. But, let me just see that there. Oh, then. King Edwards. This whole box is, is full of them. Eh? Uh, they're no bad size for seeds, and you know? some of them are like that. Uh, some of them are like like that. But you can use them as seeds. I'll be throwing them like that for seeds. So they kind of might sell maybe. 10 seed tatties in a bag for uh, about 3 or 4 quid or something um, that's what I, put in. I think I paid about a fiver fiver for a, a, a sack of these uh, I'm just going to put these actually down here because it's quite a trip trying to get this out of the shed um, these are the other ones I was going to keep um, these were uh, a friend's uh, plot, but his plot ended up with blight, and then he left the tatties too long, and the blight went down into the totties. So these are getting chucked. So these are the these are Charlotte's, Charlotte's, and these are Red Duke York. Um, but they're not storing very well. Um, I've lost, I've lost three of these. Uh, these and I've lost one Charlotte uh, and the blights the blights in there because uh, I do have a, a box over there with four of these and these uh, for for eating and I was I was put them in to store them over the over the winter right through because they'll last if you store them properly and uh, use them use them up uh, but they're not stoned very well they're just all rotten and even when you peel them you can see the blight damage inside 
Yeah, so they're going to get chucked. And these are getting chucked. Yeah, and I, that, that's it, because this video is 40 minutes long and it'll take all you out to upload. So that's just the toys, the massive potatoes I'm going to show you. But I'm not going to use, I'm not going for King Edward next year or a uh, Iron Pilot. Um, I'm kind of varying between these two, um, Reggie Coyote and, and maybe Charlotte, because Charlotte's a nice toy for, uh, for uh, roasting. Or I might go for a different, these ones that I showed you in the, the egg box, these ones, I might go for these next year. Um, I've actually got a 30 litre, kind of like 30 litre bucket pot. I might put some of these in actually and then and then uh, see if anybody wants, maybe sell them. Sell them or, or give them to somebody that's, that's not being able to afford or being able to get seed parties this year or or uh, make an exchange or something, swap something, swap seeds or something or swap a plant. Um, but I, uh, I'm going to head to now because I'm going to take these two trays in and I'm going to make a drink and I'm going to uh, chill out um, and watch telly. Uh, I might have a few beers, I don't know, I'd to the kin like. <laughs> uh, actually, I might just play a barbecue one and just uh, yell you barbie. Um, or I might clean the shed out. Um, but I, uh, I will be making a video, I'll try and, I'll try and make a video uh, this week of the veg pot in Greenhouse. Um, as I say, the there's not really much grown in there uh, because I've never gotten much in because, as I say, I started it pretty early. Well, I was pretty late in putting stuff in due to the fact that uh, it, it required a lot of digging to, to get rid of the couch grass. And, um, and I've only got a little bit to dig and that'll get done in the winter. And as I say, that'll be getting dug. The bed on the front will get done. Um, there's two wee beds at the top that I'm going to dig out, and uh, one of them's got to be a time, a time hedge. Uh, it's a herb time. It's going to be a hedge, and the other one's going to be a rosemary hedge. Um, in there, and then I say around the greenhouse, I'll, I'll put a bed, and I'll put like maybe some if I've got in time or something. Uh, I'll put like chillip bulbs or something in, or I might know, I might just leave it the actual next October and do that. Um, but I, uh, I will be making video with uh, 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 doing that bit on the front of the, the plot, um, so you can see how I'm doing it and what it looks like, because I will be lining inside it with fabric, and then I'll fill it up with, um, I might put a layer of chips in just to help with the drainage, and then put in, um, compost because I'm sure the boards are I think the boards are about a fit wide I think or I think they're about, about six or four inches wide mm. but they're long they're long they're about just shy of 16 feet uh, so that's and they're called the uh, well I call them weatherboard because um, that's what they were called before they're called sacking board so they're basically just oversized the uh, fencing slats basically kickboard whatever you want to call them and then i've got some weatherboard that it's like turn and groove but i'll just zip that bit of groove off and that can go in the front of it to make it nice and then and as i say uh, the next thing will be to clean uh, dig the, the veg pot right over try and get some horse cue, muck in it, and then tidy up the greenhouse, wash it all out, get it ready for growing, uh, and then hopefully I'll have a good year this next year for tomatoes and uh, whatever else I fancy growing, and then obviously the polytunnel, I forgot about that, get that polytunnel up and get that all ready, 
because I'll need to make the beds in there and, and compost in it and then uh, see what I can grow in there as well uh, next year uh, so anything it I might go for something a different, uh, something I've never grown before but anybody, any suggestions on what you want to see me growing uh, just leave a comment um, if you can like the video uh, and subscribe yeah, that'd be great uh, I'm going to go just now uh, and I will see you later um, bye